Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. It's Paul here from Midland Marauders and today in this one uh, it's more of a painting video than anything else. So my idea was uh, to get my Dark Angels painted up as quickly as I could with the, uh, the, the, the Lion been released again in the 40k universe which I'm super excited about. So uh, the idea was that I would the uh, Games Workshop always tell us, you know, maybe paint a test mini. So I, I decided I'd do that and I'd share it with you. So I, I'm doing it uh, very quick, as quick as we can get it done, because with we all have busy lives between family life, work life, school life, whatever you're doing. Um, not all of us have hours upon hours to just sit there painting um, individual armor edges. So uh, the idea was just to try and get the armor painted up as quick as we can, seeing as that we don't have Caliban green spray paint anymore. Uh, now I, there is one that I am I'm testing out with uh, with Tesseract Glow to see if we can keep it down to like a minimum two step slap washes on approach. I don't know how it's going to turn out. We'll we'll see later on. Um, but uh, yeah, so stick around at the end and. Uh, Tell me what you think, and if there's any other uh, chapters that you want to see me doing um, armor uh, painting tutorials for, let me know in the comments section down below, and I will definitely get them done. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy. Okay, guys, so here we are with our three marines. As you can see, I've sprayed two of them in uh, Corax White, and one of them in Chaos Black. So uh, let's uh, let's get cracking with them and uh, see how we get on. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with the black marine is I'm going to give it an overbrush of Caliban green. Then I'm going to go with a dry brush of Warpstone Glow and finally a dry brush of Moot Green. Then maybe at the end we'll do this Caradras car 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 green, I think that's how we pronounce it. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. Again, that's a bit of an experimental phase and we'll see. So for the first white marine, we're just going to give him a full on uh, wash of the Dark Angels green contrast paint. And then we're going to do something special with that last white one. So uh, let's see uh, how we get on here. So we've got a Caliban green. Load it onto the brush. Uh, work it into the bristles. I worked it into the bristles on my palette. Uh, you don't need to get a whole, too much of it off. This is not like a dry brush where you want like minimum. Mind you. you still want a bit on your brush. But just not enough that it's going to flow everywhere. And just give it a good brushing all over. You don't need to worry about thinning your paint or anything like that. Straight from the pot, rub it on there. Okay, for my uh, for my second marine, I'm just going to go in with the uh, contrast dark angels green here on this. Again, I give it a good shake. And for this, I am using this as uh, sort of a flat headed brush. Uh, it's a, I think it's a Windsor and Newton brush. I picked it up. I I don't actually know where I picked it up, but it's got really stiff bristles on it. So uh, again lash it on just do not be afraid to put lots on that is a mistake i think that i made before using contrast paint on marines i actually didn't put enough on but you you want to put lots on and it'll flow into all the recesses and all the nooks and crannies and uh, give you a uh, pretty good coverage i would say uh, all things considered okay so for my third marine i am actually going to try tesseract glow on this now hear me out i am hoping that the super neon greeny color on the white when it's painted on and dried and it gets a coat of dark angels green contrast paint over it will act as a highlight so that it will be literally two washes bang done that will be like the dream you don't even no dry brushing no nothing just lash it on there let it dry lash the second one on done so again, give it a really, really, really good shake because I found with Tesseract Glow that it can be like stick to the bottom of the pot like really badly. I actually dropped a little uh, agitator ball in there to uh, to help uh, mix it up. So again, just work your way around, picking out all the uh, the detail. Make sure you work it into all the uh, the little spots, and uh, after that, we'll see where we go. Okay, so now we're going to move on to dry brushing. So the first color is we're going to use Warpstone Glow. I'm using one of the Army Painter dry brushes for this. Um, this is my first time to uh, really get into these sort of roundy tipped dry brushes. I had used makeup brushes in the past and it just well, I wasn't really happy with them. So get some Warpstone Glow on your brush. Work it into the bristles again. 
and really really make sure that you've got lots of it like uh, less is more with dry brushing i have found that out the it's so much easier to, to build it up rather than you know making a mess of it and just start there working your way you'll you'll know whether there's too much on it or not because it'll just be terrible <laughs> there's no other word for it so just give it a really light dry brush picking out all the uh the raised details i used a lot of uh sort of down were motions on this to to pick out the areas that the light would be hitting as opposed to bits under the backpack that are never going to get any light after that then we're going to go with move again the uh you will we don't need to worry about using uh using too much use it very sparingly because this is just going to give you the the extreme highlight that we're looking for on that dark green armor um Again, work it into the bristles and get as much of it off as you can. If you're not sure, um, go back in. See there, I'm just not happy with that. It's just a little bit too much on it there. So we'll just go back in. I wipe and we'll start again. And again, just work your way around nice and slowly, picking out all those, you know, the upper edges, the, the hard edges that the light will be hitting and uh, you'll just build it up gradually and slowly all around the miniature and uh, you'll have nice happy green armor okay so here's my uh my dark angel green contrast paint marine and warp stone glow i'm just going straight in for the uh the moot green on this because there's enough sort of a highlight coming through with the uh the white base coat that uh, we don't need to worry about using two highlights so again, just very, very gentle. Make sure you have as little paint on that brush as you can and just very lightly just brush it all over it. And it will just accent all the armor panels really, really nicely. Um, I think for the most part now, I am sold on dry brushing my, uh, my intercessor squads, well, all my, my mainline Marines, and I will only concentrate on doing edge highlighting on characters or the likes of Azrael or those sort of things, even the lion himself. So yeah, just work your way around building that up. Okay, here's the Tesseract Glow Marine. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, get the Dark Angels contrast paint again, give it a good shake. I am using a, a large layer brush for this as opposed to the flat brush that I used before. I suppose you could use a wash brush either if you so wish. Um, just get it onto the, the brush there. Again, make sure your brush is well loaded and just paint it all, all over it. I uh, take, pick a section, work your way through that section. Like here you can see I'm doing the leg. Work your way through the whole leg before you move on to the other leg. Then I moved up to the waist section. And then I sort of moved up like the backpack and then round down the arms and the chest and up onto the head. Because the last thing you want is one area drying when you're half finished and you're moving back over it and it just looks like a mess. You just work it all around. So uh, yeah, so just stick around at the end and you'll see how, uh, how this turned out. Okay, so here's the uh, the first one we did over the black undercoat, and I am using the car 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 dress green car 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 dress green. Just uh, I'm using this uh, fifty fifty mix with water and contrast paint, just to see if it will just blend all the uh, the different things together. I don't know this could be a fiasco or not. If I'm not happy with the result, then when I'm painting the rest of my uh, my army, I'll just leave this step out. But uh, I won't know rightly until it's on and dried. So again, I give it a, just mix it down, 50-50, paint water and uh, paint it all over the panels, just like a wash. Over everything. Um, and what it is doing is it's making things quite green. So I am I, I'm going to have to wait till it dries because the last thing I, I want is too bright a green for my Dark Angels because I like a more of a dark green as opposed to this, which is sort of looking a little salamanderish, I'm going to say. Anyway, guys, stick around till the end and we will compare and contrast the three different Marines. 
Okay guys, so there you have it, uh, the three uh, different steps. As you can see, the Tesseract Glow didn't really work as I had hoped it would. But uh, the other two methods, I'm really happy with how they turned out. So even like contrast paint on a white undercoat with a dry brush of moot green over it, or the classic black undercoat with your Warpstone Glow and a dry brush of moot green over that again. Uh, any of them leave a really nice uh, Dark Angels green armor. Quick, simple, get your line marines, Paint it up for the tabletop super quick. Anyway, guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you all in the next one. And if anyone wants, uh, wants a chapter painted, in the comment section and we'll try and get a video done uh, for a quick and simple way of doing it. Catch you all in the next one. Bye.